Hi, this is Jenny G. Perry, and this is video five in the Jenny Licious Jewels video series. We're going to call this Workplace Woo Woo. And I am having Makeup Free Monday, but look at my Christmas now. It's a little cute. Okay, so this is from Molly, and this is how the question goes. And I'm going to read my response that I responded to her, so that's not annoying for anybody, but I want to get um, the most juice we can out of this question. So it says, um, I've been dealing with for a problem that they've been dealing with for months at work. The women there are extremely hostile towards her to the point where she's in tears and she really tries to be nice to them. She thought it was just her, but another girl had started in the department and because she was training her and the new girl's nice to our Molly, they are becoming hostile with her. How can she deal with this? Well, I think that this is perfect timing because I had just um, watched something on Super Slow Sunday. I think it was it was one of the Oprah shows with Marion Williamson from months ago. I save them on my DVR, and then when I need to um, watch them, I will. And it was about kind of about praying for your enemies and how it's an alchemy kind of process that transforms the energy where... If you pray for someone where it's really hard to pray for them, they either change or you don't care. And I thought it was so cool because I know how hard it is sometimes to do that, but how transformational it is. So this is how I responded. I said, first I want you to let go of the story of what this is for a minute. Because when we're in a victim mode, we come from that place of, oh, but you don't understand. They're horrible. And listen, I understand they're horrible. There's Sometimes people do shitty things, and that's just, uh, you know, a part of life. But we're talking about what is best for Molly. And so I want to help Molly with this. So I said, on a soul level, connect with your higher self and send them all love. See love spreading throughout your workplace, asking the angels to assist you in clearing the space. Now, my one girlfriend would laugh because I would tell her about energy and work and try to um, surround yourself like you pull in divine white light and unconditional love through your crown chakra down into your body. I ground it into the earth and let, then I let it come up again and out through my heart chakra. And so if you kind of just uh, imagine it as a cylinder that kind of goes around you and spiral, spirals down, she called it her sparkly condom. So it protects protects her energetically from other people. Now, another tool that I said to do was on a piece of paper, write down each of their names and write one thing you like about them, which I know is hard, but sometimes you have to say they have pretty hair. I know it is hard, but it's super transformational. Go back to when you feel negative about them. Um, go back to it when you feel negative about them. Sometimes, in my experience with older women, it's jealousy also, which is so silly, but it even happens with younger women. There may be something about you that they wish they had or secretly admire. From an energy standpoint, when you keep your vibe high, this helps you but may annoy them, which is not our problem. But some folks see light energy in others, and they subconsciously pull at it, push at it, or try to snuff out your light. If you look at it as a faucet, Pouring light out as a constant, nothing can go in if the force is constant and strong out. Some may be able to shift the energy and work in any environment, but why do that if you don't have to? I hope this helps, because she said she was also looking for another job, and sometimes that's just the best answer. Um, but this can work even when it comes to sometimes um, maybe our in-laws or people that we have to be around, you have to make the best out of certain situations or people that you have to be around, like um, even your neighbors or people like that. So also another thing that I said to do was to bring a crystal to keep in her pocket. And whatever stone vibe works best for you. But this is also to remind you that every time you see it or feel it, that you're divinely loved and supported. So I hope this helps. It totally went along with what Marion Williamson said. And I felt like, wow, there is no such thing as coincidence. This is always divine timing. So um, if you have a question, please go to Peace, Love, Joy, Sparkles page on Facebook and message me. And you can give your name or you can give me a fake name, whatever you like, and I will use it. Um, 
and have a wonderful week. Talk to you next week. Bye.